Do you always hear and see people talking about how they miss the old Roblox? Because I see it all the time, and I know what they mean when they talk about missing the old Roblox. But for some people, they might be questioning, what is the old Roblox? Why do people miss it so much? Was it really that good? Well, today I'm going to be answering all those questions in under 10 minutes. What does your Roblox avatar look like right now? Does it look like this, or this, or even this? I can almost guarantee you it doesn't. And if it does, good job, I'm proud. You see, Roblox avatars nowadays are all over the place. You got this type, this type, this type, and so many more. Back in the old Roblox, everyone pretty much well looked the same with slight differences, such as a different hat, different accessories, or a different t-shirt. This made everyone feel like they could fit in and be one with the community. Nowadays, if you don't have what people think is a cool outfit, you will probably get bullied for it. Nowadays, your avatar Avatar plays such a big role in making new friends and getting chosen in certain games. Back when everyone looked pretty much the same, everyone was able to fit in and had that togetherness feeling. There is such a divide nowadays in the Roblox community, and a big part of that is because of avatars. I don't know about you guys, but I miss when avatars were simple and all had that iconic smiley face. Some players feel pressured to dress their avatar a certain way to fit in, instead of making an avatar they really like. They would rather follow the crowd to avoid getting bullied about it. It is quite a sad reality we face now in Roblox. Hopefully one day it will change, but I highly doubt it. All we have now are the classic Roblox avatar memories. The Roblox forums were a key part of the Roblox platform, serving as a central space for users to discuss various topics, ranging from game development to general conversations. Divided into different categories, users could create threads to initiate discussions or seek assistance. It was a place for sharing ideas, collaborating on projects, and interacting with the wider Roblox community. Unfortunately, the forums were discontinued in December 2017, and the ability to create new posts or replies was disabled. This decision aimed to shift focus to other communications channels like the developer forum, Discord, and other platforms. However, this change affected a lot of people. The forums were such an easy place to turn to if you needed help with anything, or even just to find new friends to play with. There is no doubt the forums are dearly missed. Roblox events were special occasions organized by the platform, offering users unique in-game experiences, challenges, and exclusive virtual items. These events aimed to engage the community, promote creativity, and provide players with an opportunity to earn limited time rewards. Having big Roblox events made players come together and have fun as one whole community helping each other complete the events. Some notable events include egg hunts, Halloween events, summer games, and winter and Christmas events. When Roblox stopped doing some of the big popular events, it had various effects on users. The removal of major events resulted in a loss of anticipation and excitement within the community. Many players looked forward to these events as they brought something new and special to the platform. Removing events also created a divide in the community. Players stopped working together and coming together as one because there was now no reason to. It's worth noting that while some big popular events were removed, Roblox continues to introduce new smaller events. These events will never be as big as some of the ones mentioned, but hopefully one day the big events make a return turn. In simple terms, nostalgia is a warm and sentimental feeling you get when thinking about the past, often triggered by memories associated with certain places, events, or experiences. Old Roblox users might feel nostalgia towards the platform in the modern day because they remember the early days of Roblox when they first joined. During that time, Roblox had a different look, different game, and a smaller but close-knit community. Users might feel a sense of fondness for the simplicity and charm of the platform in its earlier stages. Nostalgia often arises when people reflect on positive and cherished memories from their past. And for old Roblox users, this could include the excitement of discovering new games, the friendships made, and the unique experiences they had on the platform during its early years. There is no doubt nostalgia makes old Roblox players dearly miss the old Roblox and want it back and wish they could be in that time again. Old Roblox games had a distinct charm characterized by simplicity, creativity, and a focus on user-generated content. During the early years of Roblox, games were often created by smaller teams or even individual developers, and the platform had a more community-driven feel. Some popular old Roblox games included Crossroads, Zombies Are Attacking McDonald's, Chaos Canyon, Wipeout Obby, and so many more. The main differences between old and new Roblox games lie in the evolution of game development practices, technology, and the size of the Roblox 
Roblox community. New games on Roblox often feature more complex graphics, advanced scripting, and larger development teams. The platform has also introduced more sophisticated game creation tools, allowing developers to create more realistic and immersive experiences. Old games were simpler in design, and players may feel nostalgic for the straightforward and simple games of the past. Early Roblox games were often created by enthusiasts who were passionate about sharing their creations and didn't care about monetization. While new Roblox games offer incredible graphics and realism, the nostalgic feeling for old games will never go away. I still find myself thinking about and missing some old games I used to play.